Oh, hello. Hi, guys. Um, I was told to play this game. I'm not sure what it is or something, but um, this is only the demo. Uh, so I guess we're going. I don't know, but I don't play games. I'm kind of worried what- oh, oh, okay. Space. Back. Shift, bring up conversation, log, wait, hold on, this is too many buttons. Oh, toggle, shift. Skip dialogue. Left mouse space, select. Arrow keys and- I have to use arrow keys? Oh man, I'll try my best, guys, I'm not a gamer. Oh, hello. Hi. Phone dating sim demo. Answer the hounds questions three. Uh, hey, me, me right now? Oh, do I look sober enough to answer that question accurately? Um, this, okay, I'm sorry, angry dog. Don't market me. Why do you have a waffle? I want a waffle. You shut up. I can ask you what your name is. Oh, sorry. You told me to shut up. Yeah, anywho, what's your name? Uh... Phone Gigi, that's not my name. My name is Scott. Reeve, should I put my last name? I'll put my last name. Okay. Yes, that's my name. What's wrong with it, Mr. Dog? Oh, hon, I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, uh, What's that supposed to be? No further comments at this time. Why is he angry at me? Second question. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you more of a phone or a typewriter? This choice changes your appearance and some possible routes you can take, but your head doesn't necessarily determine gender and you'll get to choose how you refer to a dialogue next question. Um, well, I don't think I'm a typewriter, so I guess I'm a telephone. I mean, I am the phone guy, so... Do I hit enter? Okay. Enjoy having telemarketers living in your head. Uh, well, I'd rather be a phone than a... D f f f f Dog! My bird is burning is remembering where I've buried my old breadsticks at any given time. Please reevaluate your life choices. Fussy. Final question. Select third option for advanced results. Oh! Um. Your gender then, mate. I'm a boy. This choice determines your pronouns and doesn't define anything except for how people refer to you in dialogue. I'm gonna go with boy because I'm boy. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright. Enjoy having the innate ability to open pickle jars, I guess. Oh, innate. I can read, guys. I, I you know, um... Can I just play the game now? I don't know. Can you? Uh... Um... But this is very vulgar. Get out of my sight. That's a mean dog. Um, I'm kind of scared, guys. I don't know what's going on. Oh, is that me? Hmm. You. Alright! Seems I'm alive. Wait, I was dead? I'm alive again. Whoa, uh. Darn. What would happen to me? I hate it when I do that. Hmm. My testes are firm and ripe. Don't read! Um, 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 uh. Must be getting ready to hatch. What is this game? Time for reproduction is now? Wait a minute! You guys didn't tell me it was gonna be like, what is that? 
what is that? Let's find a dank, dark pit to lay my eggs in. Wait, telephones lay eggs? Fairground. Fairground is dark, dank, and greasy. Plentiful supply of carnival food nearby. Yes. I must go to the carnival. Wait a minute, why can't we just go to Freddy's? That's pretty dark, dank, and... Whoa. Gracie? Right? Oh, boy. What did you guys get me into? Well, there we have it. The carnival. So close yet so far. Must gain entry. Why am I such a creep? Must penetrate defenses of mile high railings. I mean, those railings are hardly a mile high. Faster near and near meet me. What? I would never say that. Well, you could, you know, go through the main gate. A plan so crazy it just might work. Now I sound like an idiot. What is this game? I'm so good. Oh, hello. Please don't bang on the glass. It scares Jerry. <laughs> Are you Jerry? Greetings, ticket buffoon. Why am I so mean? My name is Jerry, but okay, sir. Hey, ticket guy! I'm phone guy! <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, how can I help you today? I just wish to gain entrance, Jerry, of ticket booth. Well, do you wish to buy a ticket, sir? No, it's fine. I don't want to piss behind any of your rides this year. I simply wish to find a field hole to lay my exit. Okay, you definitely need to buy a ticket from us if you want to do that. Yes. How much would that cost? Two dollars? Fudge, I have zero dollars. <laughs> Tell me, young squire. Would you accept tale stories and other such whimsical parables as payment? Oh, come on, Jerry. 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 Oh shoot, I was so close to Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you that creep who lives in the tent next to the playground at the park? No! I don't live in a tent, Jerry! Oh no, my cover has been blown! <laughs> Look, sir. I'm only telling you this because your stench is gonna drive away customers if I let you loiter around here uninhibited for any longer. It's Valentine's Day. It is? Wait a minute. Hold on. I don't know. No. Uh, wait. Valentine's Day. Is that for romantic people? Because I'm not romantic. I'm not romantic. Oh, he's doing the Jeremy thing. Oh, I just did it too. Okay. Yeah, but... Jerry, you be... Uh, uh, Jerry. His name's Jerry. Not Jeremy. Jerry, would you like to go to the carnival with me? Didn't you say that you have eggs to lay? Or some other bizarre drivel to that effect? Surely you have a mate of some kind if you're getting ready to lay eggs. Ah, uh, Nah, I'm a loner. Well, I guess that explains why you live so close to the woods. Jerry, you know what? Okay. That's a real shame about the loner thing, though. Are you want to go out with me, Jerry? Is that what you're asking? Because the promotion we have for Valentine's Day would have really come in handy otherwise. You intrigue me, ticket man. Tell me more. <laughs> well, Valentine's Day is a day for people who are, you know, in love. <laughs> oh, really, Jerry? This love type of feeling? I don't really do those. Love when God's green earth is that. I don't know what that is. Love is well. Oh, whoa. Hello? Why is there a graveyard in the background? Love is what happens when two grown-ups start craving more than just business handshakes and platonic ice cream breaks. Oh, love makes two people want to go on romantic ice cream dates and drink all kinds of exotic elixirs and nectars together. What's with the hands? What's going on with the weird hands? Again, why is there a cemetery? Two grown-ups are in love, they'll make joint bank accounts together and go to the movies together to feed popcorn kernels to the rats and cockroaches. Uh, and then one day, if you're lucky, your partner will 
take the kids away forever. Go home and marry Steve, a guy in your accounting firm who works in the same cubicle as you, but makes 6% more for a year than you, and you can finally have a good night's sleep. Aww. That's love. My scary friend. I'm scary? Speaking of which, we have a promotion on today just for Valentine's Day. Uh huh. Two tickets for the price of one for couples who are in love. Oh. You can somehow convince someone to bring you here. You can. I don't know. Force them to pay you in like a parasite. Jerry, you genius. Granted, I'd take a real but mission required. Oh god, fuck it. My source mate. Jerry, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, go do that. Wait, no, Jerry, you're my soulmate. Away from here. Mr. Jerry Chicken, I'll be back with the smoking hot babe. Hey there, Chicken, are you by chance free on Val- Yes, wait, Jerry! Come on! I will call the police! Wait, no, Jerry, I'm sorry. No, why, 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 no? Why did I lose? It's got a little way. I just want to go to the carnival with Jerry! He seems nice. Did I really lose? <laughs> the fun fair date. Oh my. Can I try again? Wait a minute. Did, what happens now? Oh, what's going on? Oh, I'm back in my tent. Tent, sweet tent. Find a well-functioning member of society to latch onto like a parasite. You'll have to leave your tent, you know. Damn, I hate moving here when necessary. Can I just lay my eggs here? <laughs> Great stuff, let's go. I'm gonna be positive. a boy. Oh, hello, dog. You can bring up the main menu at any point using the escape key, including during NPC dialogue and during player choices. This allows you to tweak options and save the game at any point. You want to do something to feel so it may get you arrested or killed. Oh no, this game is very dark. What the F was that? Open menu. The doo doo brings you a gift. What? Save your game. The friend. Uh, uh, okay, can I can I save my game? Oh, save please. Okay, back. I will uh back to the game. Leave my tent. Where would I like to go? Um, to Uptown Dial Town, of course. Uh, oh my. Ah, Uptown Dial Town. Home of everything and everyone. Not cool enough to be in Downtown Dial Town. <laughs> okay, so what now? Uh. I'm in a local hobo. I would rather not. Oh, hello. Howdy-do, green partner. Hey, green. My name's Mikey. Mike! Oh, you talk fast. Hello? Mike? Actually, scratch that. Mikey works just fine. So is your name not Mike? I'm Scott. Well, please make your acquaintance partner. So, what can I do you for on this fine spring afternoon? Uh, would you like to go on a date with me? At the fun fair with me? Oh, shucks, partner. I would. Don't get me wrong. Oh, you don't like me, do you? But, alas, I'm actually on my way to a book signing. Oh, are you an author? You're looking at downtown's newest best-selling writer. That's fine, man. I'm just going to try to use it for a free tag. I don't want to say that to him. I am just game sucker into paying me into the fun fair. I'm just a sponge, you see. Oh, 
No! Well now, I ain't mad at Koinky Dink. All of my bestsellers happen to be about parasites of all kinds. Um, you won't find a man who's more about parasitism in all die down, partner. Uh, speaking of, let me know what I can do you for, cause any longer I'll be running tardy. Uh, 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 he said he couldn't, so uh, uh, later. Right on then. Sayonara. I don't want to summon a local hobo. I'm gonna leave. Uh. Downtown, the outskirts of town. Local park, your tent, local phone shop, cinema, or the bank. Let's go to the park. I don't know. This is the this is, oh, this is a pretty picture. The park. You could roll around on the nice spring grass unless you mind getting a few discarded syringes stuck in your arm. No thanks. So what now? I don't want to lie down on the grass. I might die. It's relaxing time, friendos. Shut up, narrator. I have friends. Oh, pretty flowers. Isn't this tranquil? Really is quite serene, yes. It's so good to get away from the big city. It's only like two yards further. <laughs> Peacefulness really helps unclench the old sphincter. Okay. Sure. Why don't I? Usually the grass is then with clay, syringes, and other unmentionables. Well, it's a good thing that. Oh no. See, this is what. What the F? Okay. Uh. Ow. Yeah, I think I. Cause he's scratcher too, all right. Why I hate nature and <laughs> this is like about my dog. Completely man-made. Okay, shut up, narrator. You might want to find a band-aid or ten or a few of those little scrapes if you can. Then again, you're penniless and band-aids don't exactly grow on trees. You syringes grow in the fields. How is that even remotely fair? Oh, shut up, you wounded crybaby. Yes. Back to the park we go then. And that was a butter knife. How did that stab me? I would like to leave. The playground, I guess. Am I actually dying? Do I have needles in my arm? Oh, hello, phone children. Stay exactly 25 feet from the perimeter of the zone of m merriment. You should be legally... Prosecutable. Oh, you shouldn't be. Okay, I can read y'all. So what now? Measure the ground. Ah, uh, sure. Let's measure the ground. Am I gonna get arrested? Perfect. You know. Now would be a good time to reflect on child labor laws and why you're no longer legally allowed to get any closer to this very playground again. And in the first place, shh, shh, shh. I refuse to learn any lessons. Rightio. My only form of intel. Children! Come gather round, children! Oh, it's a purple phone boy. Little Billy, can I help you? Child. Yeah, I'm a child. What of it? I'm 4 7, smell like grass, despite never touching it due to having a grass app on my phone, and I take crystal meth licorice flavored. Uh, kids grow up so fast nowadays. Why, well, I remember when I was your age. A mere hatchling. Why, my tail hadn't even grown yet. Okay, scary green man. Why am I green? I don't understand the colors. Say, are you not allowed to get within 25 feet of this here playground? Jokes on you, you're perfectly stunted shit lord. 
I measured the ground before summoning you. Just within an irresponsibility marginal but still legal distance. Ha. Huh. You're less than 25 feet from me right now, though. No, 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 no. We learned about two-digit numbers at school yesterday, so your reptile brain bullshit won't work on me this time, bozo. Double jokes on you, you little skirt. The law says that I can't get within 25 feet of the playground. Not the little scrotes contained within its confines. I have foul language as this character. I'm not very happy with this. Technically, you approached me. I win. So, if I go back to the slide, you won't be able to talk to me without shouting. Okay, see you later then. Please, no idea you need to tell. This is the question about the birds and the bees, and I'm sorry, but my dad got really angry when I asked him about that for you. How do you know me? Turns out shit gets nasty when birds... Mm, Alright. It's not that question this time. Then what is it? Uh, what are the new cool words? Oh man, cool is the new drool. What you need are some quality slurs. Oh no. I'm listening. Now, I'm sure you know all the popular ones, like calling an inexperienced rug salesman Aladdin or referring to a slightly unfamiliar dog as Groucho. But, but the mightiest slur of them all. Krungus? What? It's like a cheat code, but instead of unlocking your extra life for more fun, just unlock you a particularly painful death. Awful, thanks for sharing. My pleasure, green one. Am I Yoda? Have we done here or what? I'm scared to ask that question. Okay, bye. I do have a name, you know. Yeah, I don't care to learn it. Be gone, stunted one. Alright, later, bozo. Aww. Uh, this game is very, um... Can we go to Uptown, Dial Town? Now that I know the secret word is Krungus. I hope that's not a bad thing to <laughs> Summon a local hobo. Wait, this is downtown. I thought it said Uptown. Hobo of Dial Town, I summon thee. Oh no. Oh hey. Yo. Hey, nice to meet you, friendo. Name's Hound. You need something? Are you indeed a hound? Well, yeah, I do visit dumpsters and sleep in alleys and such. Being a hobo ain't my main gig. Yeah, thing is, I'm kinda like god and stuff. Wait, what? You're the dog. Created everything around you right now and fired out the cosmos and the stars and shit. Oh uh, yeah, I'm kind of a big deal actually. What? You created everything? Well yeah, most things. But not everything. Well yeah, you guys did some of the work to be fair. Building society and shit, we do live in a society. Nah, not quite. Oh, they're like, you have a takeout box in the corner of your room and forget the bin. The box only to find a new species of all from the remains of your chicken tie curry from last month. Take me on that. Um, this world is a takeout box and I'm the hungover dude and gazing upon infinite possibility and disgust and awe. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Uh... I just want to go to the fun fair. God, how much would that even cost? One, maybe even two dollars? Do I look like I have two dollars right now? But you're God! Yet you just... Uh, 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 yeah, you're God. 
control reality. Ha! <laughs> Look at the shit show happening on this bastard of an orb we call Earth right now. Do you honestly think I have a clue what's going on? You wanna fix shit? You be gone for a day. Sure. so soon. What's the rush? Oh. Uh. I'm heavily pregnant. Oh, hey. One of those reptile fellas that made a few healing or so years ago. Wait, I'm a reptile? Not judging, just saying. You guys are weird. Good luck conquering the human race and whatnot, though. I'll never see it coming. Ow. Okay, wait a minute. I thought it was a telephone. I'm a reptile. Oh, I want to go to downtown dial town. Oh. Hello. Everyone's a telephone. Ooh. Downtown. The air tastes like crystal meth, and the crystal meth tastes like fog. Okay, so what now? I don't know. Uh, talk to a nearby passerby. I thought about, oh, a violin. Hello, 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 then. Nathan Hanover. Ah, uh, do I need something? Who are you? Nathan Hanover, Gothna. Bloody well chuffed to make your acquaintance. I I am. Sorry for me, Ace Mate, but I'm running quite late for a very important date. Are you the White Rabbit? What's gotten you in a hurry? Well. Gotta go to a charity gig that I'm old with to raise money for alcoholic dogs. Right. Mm, them mongrels. Why'd they always turn around? Gotta get their symphonic orchestra. Okay. But, uh, happy to answer any questions you've got. Okay, uh, and if you're quick, I'll be right chuffed. I don't know. Uh, um, I don't know. Maybe. Surely I know. No, not a clue. Alright, so imagine a ghost. Yeah, okay. But like, it's stuck in a bloody contraption in there. Wait, 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 wait. Are you talking about the animatronics? Hold on. It's hollow from inside the machine. Uh, sure. They do that a lot. Screaming out like music in, in it. I understand even less about symphonics now. Thank you. Well, mention it. So you leave the magic to me then. Um. Have you ever met God? The bum, yeah. Yeah, he created the whole universe in that. Oh, saw him fall face down to a puddle yesterday. Well, grim. I don't think he'll take me to the fun fair. But should I ask him? I don't want him to be my dad, so no. Oh, it's, I can't understand what he's saying, so goodbye. Ta-ta. Uh, a different passerby, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. You look like me. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm sorry, Roger. I love you to death, man. But you gotta work on those nerves. Surely saying hello just once would suffice, no? I always say hello twice. Peter, it's just the green one is looking right at us. And 
he wants something. Well, turn around and ask the nice man what he wants. Yes, be nice to me, Roger. Right, of course. Hey, nice to meet you, sir. The name's Roger. Hey, Roger, how's it you bring me to the fun fair? Oh, jeez, I'm flattered, really. But our lunch break just in. We gotta get back to work. But I'm married. So? But Peter, didn't you just tell me that Caroline wanted to spice things up in the Ixnay on the Ed Room Bay, Roger? <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Sorry, that's on me. Italian, my mortal nemesis. I don't speak that. That's big Latin. Caught by Benito Mussolini. Once again. Please don't ask him any branching questions, Roger. Sorry, my anyway. We're happy to answer any questions, Brian. You ask them quick. Why does everyone want to ask me questions quickly? The lunch break will be over any minute now. The moment it ends, we're officially back on the clock. Gotta get back to work, you know. Hey, nice hat. Hey, thanks. Fine. It makes my head complete. <laughs> Why doesn't your friend have a hat? I don't do hats, I'm afraid. I can see this, this divide between you. It's festering gap growing in your friendship. Difference of ideologies. This will lead only to war. Hey, I'm, I'm cool with the fact that he doesn't have... Shh, sweet summer child, be silent. <laughs> Will you contribute to the world? Phone people. Existential question. What is a man's worth? His merits, his morals, his... Uh, I think he wants us to tell him about our the daily grind, Roger. Oh, sorry, sorry. I work over at the Dial 10 Mechanics Plant on the old one off Main Street. The one that used to be Crown Mechanics, of course, over 50 years ago, before the rebranding. Anyway, me and Peter work there together. He does assembly. And I'm his manager. Oh, Roger, you're the manager, too. Wait, you're his manager? Well, yeah. You see, one afternoon, our old manager ran to the assembly for paper shuffling frantically in hand. I've done that before. He said our plan was going to go through some changes and for one of us was going to be promoted to his old position. Was he promoted? To a corpse, yes. Oh, shit. Nasty bit of business, that. Turns out the guy had ties with the dial town mob and the cops finally caught up with him. There's a mob? Ended up jumping out of a four-story window onto the trampolines we just manufactured. What well, allows you to learn that the trampoline machine wasn't printing off any of the actual trampoline parts, but the frame springs. I'm so worried that once he died, the cops just start shooting at me. Oh, uh, what is wrong with you people? I figured, phone lord, if he can pass his old job to me, maybe he could pass his crime to me, you know? Regardless, I persisted and made it through with a brave face, though. You hid and cried under the desk for a whole ordeal, actually. Yeah, but he didn't know that. All I do now! Why'd he pick you to be the manager and not your friend? Friend seems far less incompetent at being a person. Oh, the old manager said it was for my diligence and expertise. Roger's assembly line was closest to the door and thus the closest to the manager right as he entered. Okay, this is all making a lot of sense. Speaking of, we have to get back to the plan. But wait, I thought you said Roger was the manager. Who's powerful enough to reprimand Roger for being late. 
Oh, nobody. I just have to get back to make sure nobody else is running late. Roger, speaking of. Uh, Peter, you could possibly be cool being Roger's lackey. I'm Roger's employee, not his lackey. Besides, it's not even that. I actually take a lot of pride in my work. Do you, Peter? Do you? Just grateful that I managed to get a manufacturing job here and don't have to ever return back to working at that pizza joint in Colorado. Wait a minute! Wait, phone guy! Wait, hold on! Wait a minute! I knew you were familiar looking! Hold on, wait! Rather assembled nuts and bolts than pizzas, thank you very much. Okay. Plus, there's worse managers out there than Roger. Roger, he cries usually, my brother. Should I? Oh, phone lord, no, you wouldn't want to catch. Whatever he has that makes his skin look like it does. Oh, wait. Oh, hello. I think having green skin is freaky. Try Clementine Orange. Standing right here, you know. Well, how many nipples does he have? I don't know. Okay, okay, I stand corrected. Maybe he's not all on that. Stop talking about my nipples, Ree. <laughs> oh, right, sir. I'm sorry. We just go. I've got errands to run anyway. Eggs to lay, you know. Oh, hey, if you ever need a job. Hey, Roger. <laughs> I will never work, never toil, never slave away from nine da mine daily bread. Oh god. I will die as I live, unemployed and wearing stolen bowling alley shoes. Goodbye to one and all, Roger and Peter. See you on the flip side. Nice meeting you, I guess. Bye, phone guy! That's also me, but also you from the other game. I'm okay. Read the notes on a nearby phone pole. The nearby pole teleports directly to you. Go, oh, what the? How? Oh, you know something, anything that'll somehow get you into the fun fair. Hmm, let's see. Okay, let me read the first advert aloud. Frongles the Clown. Hi, I'm Frongles the Clown. What the F? Clowns don't even exist anymore. But do you believe in Bigfoot? Whole different kettle of fish. Bigfoot is real. Clowns are not. Bigfoot is a real <laughs> little ape man who lives in the woods and is only ever seen through hazy disposable camera footage. Exactly. He might as well be my uncle. Clowns are literally just people with funny red noses. How is that any less easy to comprehend? You think clowns are people? <laughs> people don't lay eggs. You lay eggs. My point exactly. I mean, imagine having a head covered in disgusting flesh with a red bulbous tumor attached to your face. That hunks. They have gigantic shoes and yet, and yes, they drive around in comically tiny cars. They blow up balloons and dense jigs at the drop of a hat. And if it's such absurd antics are menial, they truly are wretched creatures. Huh. I had no idea you felt this way. Awful beings. Okay, so should we skip over fungals? Yes, okay. Uh, okay, well, there's two red birds left then. A phone sex hotline and uh, rent a chimpanzee service. It's your pick. Uh, I don't want to, um, wait, this is a dating game, right? So maybe one of the hotline people will take me to the fair. <laughs> I think you're gonna get anywhere with this one. What a bounce. Do you have any better ideas? The bounce. <laughs> We're calling the number. Uh, call the number. <laughs> if you insist.
exist. How are you even gonna make the call? I'm a telephone already to the nearest phone booth away. <laughs> Wait a minute, I thought I was a telephone. Oh, alas, here we are. Downtown's only phone booth. Since half of like all people got their heads replaced with rotary phones, I dare say this thing hasn't had much use since then. Uh-huh. It seems you to be so you can take far more fill than this one particular field box should be able to contain. Oh come on, is it really that bad? Well for starters, it's a strong smell of urine in here. All of the buttons on the keypad are sticky with gum and there's a dead raccoon on the floor. Uh it reminds me of the puzzle. Yes, it's sticky and smells weird. Well that and weird stains, yeah. You ready? Sure I am! Glad to see some enthusiasm. You're welcome, narrator. Uh, your enthusiasm was for not. I don't get it. What's the number? It's uh, 1-800 sexy phone. You sure you're ready? Great reluctance and dread. Yes. I'm scared. Unusable keys, yeah, to be frank. And sticky as the keys are, they're not the issue here. The issue was you not putting 25 cents in the phone box coin slot. Do I have 25 cents? If you had money, you wouldn't be on this have no quest in the first place. I knew that, I was just testing you. Testing me for what? Ticks. I uh, look. Point is, you need to figure out what you're gonna do now. You're scentless. So what's the plan? Uh, uh, wait, isn't my head a working phone? Well, I'm just remembering now that your head is a telephone. I didn't hear you suggesting using it. I don't exist. You're standing in a phone booth alone, talking to a disembodied voice. Fine, let's just make the call. Sexual gratification. <laughs> <egg dog. laughs> ah, I never say that again. Hi, my name is Randy Jade, and I'm feeling Randy for you tonight. I'm sorry. My boss wants me to say that. I should really should have just lied about my name. Uh, how are you doing, Randy? Oh, you know. Which is never great. Sorry about talking a little while to pick up the phone. Oh, taking a little while to pick up the phone, by the way. I'm actually at work right now. I mean, of course you are. Did you look at my phone sex hotline? I mean, yes, of course I do. But it's only a side job. I have to, I have to pay my rent, which is last flipping high. So, what exactly your main job then? During the day, I work as a bird render for Dial to have animal control. I'm kind of in the middle of doing a hostile swan right now. Uh, are you fighting a swan? I mean, it's not that I'm fighting a swan, it's more that I'm trying my darndest to subdue and capture it before it makes havoc. Uh, you sound like a girl. I can't let this one see it already knows that it's physically and mentally stronger than me. I can't let it know that it's also emotionally stronger too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I got all caught up in swan talk. You see, most customers call kind of, you know, later. Only oh, yeah, the was tend to want to talk. Dirty with a complete stranger on their lunch break during a 12 hour shift at the Dialtown Battery Factory. I mean, no offense. The local battery factory, you say? 
<laughs> Make her in the factory as I don't know. Nesting location for a heavily pregnant friend's eggs. I mean, is there anything else you wanted to talk about? What's your sexuality, Randy? What kind of people you date? Can you guess what I got in my pen? No! Hey, can you give me a swan pack? Okay, it's called Socks and Smell. Uh, no, no, no. Fingers can't be choosers. Are your sexuality or your dating policy? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I haven't found someone willing to tolerate my presence. That's marriage material. <laughs> That, or they're just acting nice because they're trying to steal my organs. Fool me once. Oh. Oh. Oh, in that case, can you take me to the fun fair? <laughs> Don't pick this one, please. Wait. We have stuff. But we have a fun fair shindig home slice. Oh, uh, come to the fun fair with me. Uh, are you. Are you asking me out on a. Date? Yeah, thanks for noticing. Gee whiz, this is... I've never been asked out on a date before. Usually I'm the dude who has to pick people to go out for coffee with me. And to re <laughs> resist the urge to throw the scalding beverage in my face during this sordid ordeal of taking me out. So you're in. I sure as heck I am! What do I have to lose? Yeah, I'm going to the fun fair! Could be like a serial killer or murder for your skin or whatever. Well, as I always say, at worst, this thought would just kill me, which is best for everyone, including myself. Oh. Good motto, words to live by. So, when you want to do this? Does right now work? I mean, I kind of at work right now, and you know, this swan isn't going to wrangle itself. I am heavily pregnant, yeah, I am. It's now or never, Randy. I... Alright. I guess I can leave in a few minutes. Take your time, my sweet. It's okay. My time is actually worth very little. <laughs> it's better if I just run. So I get all sweaty and you can't smell the same as one. That's the desperation of my overwhelming body odor. <laughs> My manager asked me I'll just say that this one won and I'm just dancing with her. Catch you at the fun fair with my sweet. Oh, I'm going to the fun fair! Uh, see you later! I'm gonna be nice! Thank the phone more that my pants were already wet with pond water and swan saliva. Otherwise, I'd have to change my pants right about now. Oh no. I'll see you there. Did I do it? Well then, looks like you've weaseled your way into the fun fair. What do you think of him? Personally, I find him awful in every conceivable way. Well, what about you? I will immediately abandon Randy as I enter the fun fair. No, I want to see Randy! I'm not surprised in all honesty. You are? No. I mean, you eat roadkill. After all, what is Randy if not the dateable equivalent of roadkill? Come on, let's go. You've got a date to attend. Alright! <laughs> I'm going on a date, guys! So what now? We're going to the fun fair! I'm gonna open the menu and save. Okay. Go over. No, I don't like using the keys. Leave. Wait, I could have went to the zoo. Uh. Burger place, apartment, casino. The outskirts of town. The fun fair. We're going to meet Brandy. This is a long demo. So what now? Outside demo room. Uh, leave the area. The fun fair. Maybe I'll see Jerry. 
ready to meet Randy at the gate? Oh, oh, oh. Ready to offer me, I guess. Oh, come on now. Sure, Randy's a little, uh... What? Uh, okay, fine. He's not your catcher that I Lyra one. We can easily go lay your eggs if nothing else. Yes. Come on, you've got shit to do. <laughs> I don't understand why I'm a reptile person and I need to lay eggs. Oh, hello, Mr. Dog. Hi, me again. Just serving you up a final one-time reminder. You can access the menu at any time. Yes, okay, I know. Completionist playthrough is easier. I've added this baby at the top of the screen. It appears every time a route diverging choice occurs, remind you to save at that moment. Since you can reload and get another ending, allowing you to try another ending without any backpedaling. Thank you, and don't forget, better save than sorry. Right! Cherry! Oh no. Take it, Jerry, my friend! Oh, Lord, help me, why can't I just have an average day at work? Look, sir, as I said, I'm not willing to just let you in just to get you off my back. And I'm not willing to take you myself, so unless they're suddenly able to pull a romantic partner, he's coming. Who is he? Randy. Did you actually manage to rope some poor sucker into paying you into the fun fair? Or is this some kind of bizarre whimsical distraction designed to hold my attention while your weird stomach enzyme dissolve a gaping hole in our fence to need to climb through? <laughs> Damn, I wish I had to come up with that idea myself. Yeah, I figured you'd be able to do that. You look like you can spit acid. As if the green skin. Yeah, among other physical qualities. This alleged Randy person. I actually know a few Randys, you know. Wait. Randys? Randy? Rondé? <laughs> Sorry. Point is, I know a Randy or two. Say, does your Randy happen to be really pale and scrawny, covered in bandages? Constantly smells like sweat, desperation, and swan rage. Yeah, that sounds about right, actually. Yeah, I'm glad Randy's got someone to spend his Valentine's Day with this year. Ha! Oh, what a pity that it's the literal crypto who just wants me to use him as a pawn in his egg laying plan. Hey, it's not bad. Randy and I are extremely close. Judge me not, fleshy ticket dispenser. Pathetic. Only phone god may judge me. I can and will judge you. <laughs> Randy! Hey, sorry I'm late. <laughs> Had to roll around in a puddle to get swan blood off of my clothes for the big date. Oh. Oh, who am I kidding? We both know the blood was exclusively mine. <laughs> but hey, you look marvelous, my sweet. Oh, thanks, Randy. Uh, you look like a snack egg time. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. You paid for both of us. I presume. Are those bloody bandages on your hands? No, he's cute. Look at him. Oh, I, I, do, do I really? Jerry, Randy. I know your brains are probably all scrambled from the accident and the numerous swan modelings, but come on, man. Don't fall for this <laughs> honey words. What are you talking about, Jerry? Yeah, Jerry, who are you? He's using you, Randy. No, I'm not. We have a two for one ticket promotion for Valentine's Day for couples wants you to pay him so he can lay his eggs in a moist pit somewhere in the fun fair. Oh, I mean. Yeah, I... I knew that. No, Randy! You knew? And still you came? Randy! Beggars can't be choosers, Jerry! Yeah, Jerry! 
Sigh. Fine, it's your funeral, I suppose. That'll be two dollars then, Randy. Okay, I should have two dollars. Please have two dollars. I, uh, should have about two dollars here. Maybe slightly less. Oh no, Randy, no. You know what? Just go right in, Randy. Really? Yeah, I've had enough of this wretch of a creature for today. <laughs> I like to see how you look with a full egg sack inside you, Jerry! Randy, please just get this creature out of my sight. Yes, sir. Come on, hon. Oh, okay, let's go romance like a couple of lovebirds. Alright, Randy! Yeah! We shall! We shall do it! <laughs> After you! Yay! I'm going to the fun fair to lay my eggs. I don't know. Well, here we are, my love. We just met, Brandy. And your shirt's unbuttoned. Downtown fun fair and it's grease soaked safety inspection failing glory. So, my love, what shall we do first? Eggs. Oh, all uh, right. <laughs> you wanna just uh lay those right now? You know, get it over with. Oh. Uh, no, 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 let me just brace myself. Sure, alright. If you need to, I guess. I've never laid eggs before myself. Not that I can, you know, you're a telephone! I'm sure it's hard to do without, uh... Sufficient embracing. So, I'll just, uh, give you some privacy and let you get to it. Thanks, Randy. Pained grunting. <laughs> Agonized grunting. <laughs> you okay, hon? <laughs> Distressed roaring. <laughs> What's the matter? Aren't you, like, heavily pregnant? I've got stage fright. Ah, right. What? <laughs> Just lay the dang eggs! So, uh, what now? You can always go on a few rides. And shake the eggs out of my gut. Wow. That's absolutely wretched. But, I mean, I guess we could ride eggs now. <laughs> Anything for you, my love? Oh, poor Randy. I feel so bad. Randy, no, my soulmate. Randy! Oh my, wow! Radical! I wish I really could be my- what this could be? Could this be? Could this feeling be? Oh. No, wait. It's just your eggs squirming inside you. I feel very uncomfortable. Oh, Randy, look at the nice lighting. Phone lord, I think I'm gonna hurl. I swear, if I have to go on one more vomit coaster, fear not, dear Randy. I'm ready to lay my eggs. Oh, good, then. Right, uh, right here? Yes. This ditch is squalid. <laughs> Damp and thoroughly moist. Close proximity to the hot dog stand. Yes, a perfect nesting location. <laughs> right, uh. Do you need me here for this or fetch me a hot dog mating partner? I mean, I can do that, sure. Egg laying is a strenuous ordeal. I require sustenance. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll, uh. I'll be right back. With one quality fairground wiener. 
Ah, who am I kidding? We both know that there will be rat tails, pig hooves, and horse jerky in the sausage. Right, can I just lay these dang eggs? So I guess it's time to. The sounds of the damned. Oh. Alright. Huh. Well, would you look at that? My babies! They're a defenseless, <laughs> defensive Neanderthal grunting. <laughs> They're a beautiful, proud Neanderthal grunting. Thanks for my hot dog, Randy. Hey, hon, I'm back. Uh-huh. I suppose these be your eggs, then. Uh, aren't they beautiful, Randy? Yeah, they're... They're quite, uh, green. Thank you. You're, uh... You're very much welcome. So, uh... What now? Throw some topsoil over the eggs and... Good, my babies are safe and sound. Okay, so like... The eggs have been laid, but the night is still young. We should, like, seize the moment. Deem the carp. shall we do first? I don't know, Randy. We went on all the rides. Go play some dumb carnival games. Raid the hot dog stands. You dropped my hot dog, Randy. I would have to walk all those places. Yeah, a whole ten meters that way. Oh, dear. It appears that Randy wants you to walk the left yards to your left. Fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I fucked on a bag. My legs are chilly. My legs are limp and flaccid. Yeah. Also, never use the word flaccid around me again. Thanks. What do? Okay, calm down. Just look around for something to do. Something slightly closer than 10 meters away. Something you can crawl over to if you have to. Crawl! Hot dog activity! I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Also, don't maybe stop talking in front of Brandy. <laughs> You're probably scaring him because he's not like a wounded feral animal right now. I am a wounded feral animal. Hun, are you alright? Do you need a glass of water or whatever combo of whiskey and bat nectar your kind likely to consume? Panic. Hun, you just said word panic out loud. Fortune teller. Oh. Look, Randy. <laughs> Exactly two easily chewable meters away. Chewable or did I read that wrong? A fortune teller animatronic. Oh Madame Duke. It says out of order! Look, I don't know, I kinda have a that sounds like a bad idea. But dear Red, don't you want to gaze into our fuel future? I mean, my present is already bad enough. And the sign says the machine's out of order. That won't stop us, Randy. I don't know. I think seeing the next hope in much less than 40 years of misery I have left on this hellscape of a norm <laughs> once just destroyed the last fabric of future. Look, I, I can't be here right now. I'll, I'll see you around, you know. Oh no, Randy. Randy, come back. Randy! Huh. Huh. That's odd. Seems like Randy really didn't like the idea of hearing about his own future. wonder why that is. Time is scary. It rained us all, us all to not eventually, dear narrator. Yeah, unless you're in disembodied voice like me. You know, if you know, don't actually exist. Come on, then, let's go home. I thought I could walk, though. Sorry, let me offer a correction. Let's crawl home, then. Ah, shit. Goodbye, my children. 
I'll return to you at all when I can. Yeah, yeah, circle of life and all that shit. Let's just go. But Randy! Randy, I'm sorry! <laughs> Randy? What's happening? <laughs> the following morning. Alright guys, so uh, I'm gonna pause this here and uh, save. <laughs> Alright, this has been uh, Dial Town, eh? so uh, um, this game is uh, very scary and very uh, dark and very uh, gruesome and very inappropriate, but um, I thought I would give it a try, so um, thanks for watching this episode. If you want to see more Dial Town, leave a comment down below, and um, uh, yeah, please don't make me play this again. Okay, um, sorry Randy, okay, bye!